So let's have a look at this exam question here. I've highlighted the keywords in yellow already. So you've got two vertical ropes and they're modeled as string, so there's gonna be a tension. So I'm just gonna label that tension Q and tension P. Now, labeling this correctly is the key to get to your three out of three marks. This AP equals 0.3 is given in the diagram. Now you've got a uniform rod of length two meters and mass 20. So the center of mass is going to be 20 G going down here. If the whole rod is two meters, we know from here to here must be 1.4 meters. We've got a gym mass of 50 G. So let's label that 50 G and the beam rests in equilibrium in the horizontal position. Show that the tension and the rope attached to the beam at P is this. So we're going to take moments about Q. Now why we're taking moments about Q here is because we want to find the tension at P. So that would make sense to take that here. Because if we take moments at A, we're going to get TP and TQ going anti-clockwise. And we don't know what TQ is, it's just asking for TP. So if we start off taking our moments at Q, you can see this distance is zero, so zero times TQ is zero. So that discounts this and that allows us to solve this first part. So let's see from Q what's going anti-clockwise. So what's going this way, anti-clockwise? We can see from Q to here, that must be 0 0.7. So we're going to get 0 0.7 times 20G plus, how can we work out how far this is? Well, we know X is here, this is X, and this whole thing is 1.4. So that must be 50G multiplied by 1.4 minus X. So that's going to equal the clockwise movement or moment. And clockwise, this is going to be going clockwise. Imagine that going around a clock. So that's going to be TP times 1.4. That's 1.4 T, the tension of P. Now we just need to work that out. So that's going to give us 14 G plus 1.4 times 50, which is going to give us 70 G minus 50 G X equals 1.4 TP. So all we need to do here is divide by 1.4 and then sub in G equals 9.8 and you will get TP equals 588 minus 350x. This line here will get you your M1 and A1 essentially, because that's what you need to do. And resolving, this is your next answer mark. That's a straightforward three out of three marks. So now we have part B, which is in terms of X, find the tension in the rope attached to the beam at Q. So when the tension at Q, it actually makes sense to take moments around P here because it makes our working out more straightforward. So part B, taking our moments about P. So let's look at P. What do we have down now in the clockwise? This is the clockwise direction. We have the gymnast, which we call x the distance x so we have 50 gx plus we know that's 0 0.7 here for the sensor of mass plus so 0 0.7 times 20g equals can you see tq is going to be here that's going to give us the anti-clockwise movement so we know that's 1.4 TQ. Now TQ, once you resolve that, divide out by 1.4 is 
and uh, multiply by 9.8, you're going to get TQ equals 98 plus 350x. Now you can also just resolve upwards and say TP plus TQ, if you're resolving up and down, is going to equal the 20G plus 50G, because that's down. So TP plus TQ is going to equal 70G. And you know what TP is from the start. And if you substitute that in, you will get the same answer. If you substitute TP in. Okay, so now we're on part C. So part C. Hence, just as you answer carefully, the range of values of tension which could occur in each row. Now, how do we answer that? Well, we know the distance x can be 0, between 0 and 1.4. So for part C, since x is in, to, in between these values, what do you think you can do with these values? We have a value of x in both. So you just substitute both of these in into your TP and your TQ and set X equal 0 and 1.4 so your TP, the range of TP you'll get between 98 and 588 and your TQ let X equal 0 and 1.4 so substitute it into your TQ, or you know when x equals 0, you're going to get that between 98 and 1.4 times 350, add 98, you're going to get 588. And your TP is going to be the same. That's not too bad, is it? Now nearly done, we are now on part D find the value of x when, given that the tension in the rope attached at q is three times the tension in the rope attached at p. So we're very good at that. So the tension in the rope attached at q. So this is going to be three t essentially, that's going to be t. So what do we do? We just start off with what's t q, 98 plus 350x. 98 because TQ is 3 times the tension at P so that's got to be 3 TP because 3 times this equals TQ so we've got 98 plus 350x that's what we've got for TQ here equals 3 times what do we have for TP at the top 5, 8 8 minus 350x that's going to get us the method mark right here because that's what we need to do now you just expand and solve this and solve for x so continuing that on we just plus 150x on both sides once we expanded it we get 1400x um, equals 1764 do remember to minus the 98 and once you solve that you'll get x equals 1.19 and it's meters in context of the questions does it make sense yes because it's in between this range and then you've got your answer mark and your another method mark here and you've aced that question 12 out of 12 well done do uh bring this video back to the start of the question and give it a go and see if you can ace it 12 out of 12. Okay, so hopefully we're very good at these types of questions now, so I will speed up my explanation. So, we've got a uniform rod. Do pause the video and read the question. And mass of 200 kilograms, that's the rod. So at exactly six meters in, we have 200 G here. Do note this down. Man is 80. That's 80 G. We're going to have a reaction RD and RC. 
find the magnitude of the reaction on the GERD at the support C. So it would make sense to take a moment about D so that RD will be zero. So let's do our anti-clockwise direction. So that's six meters in from B, so that must be four from D. So that's six, that's four. So we get four times 200 G, first step. Plus, where that man is four meters from A, he's exactly eight meters from B. So this man must be six. That's plus six times 80 G, which is gonna equal the clockwise. We can see this is clockwise here, the RC. So that's going to be, remember that's four. So that's got to be another four here. Gives us a total of eight. So I'm gonna say equals eight RC. So if you divide, work that out, you're gonna get 800 G plus 480 G equals 8RC, divide throughout by 8 and you're going to get R at C can equal 160G and 160 times 9.8 and we normally round to three significant figures so you can say that's 1570 that's RC that's quite easily done so now the support at D is now moved to the point X. So D has changed to the point X, where X to B equals X meters. The man remains on the girder at P, as shown in figure two. So that man is still 80 G. We still have the 200 G in the middle. Now, given that the magnitudes of the reactions at the two supports are now equal, and that the girder again rests horizontally in equilibrium, find, the magnitude of the reaction at the support at X. So this RD, RC are equal. So if we just resolve upwards, we're gonna get 2R equals 80G plus 200G. So we're gonna get the two reactions going to equal 280G. Now we know G equals uh, 9.8. So R is going to equal uh, 140 G. And to three significant figures, that's 1370 Newtons. That's part B. Now part C, find the value of X. So we're gonna to have to take moments from somewhere to find X. Now if we have to find X, we need to take the moment at B. So let's take moments around B. So we're going to get R. These are both R because they're the same. So you don't need to label them differently. So we're going to get XR. That's clockwise. So clockwise direction. We're going to get XR plus the whole thing is 12. And that is 2. So 12 minus 2 is 10. So we're going to get plus 10R equals in the anti-clockwise direction, 200, six times 200 G. And the man is in the same place as before, I believe. Now he's four meters away, but he is in the same place. But the numbers change from here, because it's from B. 12 minus four is eight, so plus eight times 80 G. Now remember we have our R from here, so we're gonna get 140 X plus 1,400 here equals 1,200 G plus 640 G. Now if you resolve or we'll solve, we'll get 140 X equals 440. And so X is going to equal 22 over seven for your full marks. And now all of that is doable. Hope you're happy with that question. Do pause the video, go back to the beginning and do that question on your own and let's see you ace that. Okay, so we should be very good at this now. Question six. 
I've highlighted the key words, it's a non-uniform rod, length 3 metres and mass 4.5. Um, now I see the centre of mass of the rod at, is at G 4.5 so let's just write 4.5 G right here and I love it when they give us the diagram saves a bit of thinking time now the support at P on the rod is twice the magnitude of the reaction of the support at Q so I'm gonna call that 2R you can label it any letter you wish and so part A says find the magnitude of the reaction of the support at Q on the rod so what's that going to be now you can take moments to work this out and do the clockwise versus anti-clockwise uh, to make them equal because the rod is at is in equilibrium but let's just resolve vertically so R3 resolving vertically we've got 2R plus R equals there's no person standing we've just got the weight, weight of the rod equals 4.5 G so we've got 3R equals 4.5 G so R is just going to equal 1.5 G or 15 newtons or 14.7 um, depending on how you rounded that is that quite easily done B you've got to find the distance AG so you finding the distance AG from here to here we have to take moments around A so let's take moments around A so in the clockwise direction I'm going to call this clockwise we're going to get we don't know that distance so we've got to say just 4.5 times AG let's do that capital G and you've got to put the G there equals the anti-clockwise movement or moment that should make sense that that is clockwise that this will both go anti-clockwise so that's 0.82R, 0.8 times 2R plus whole thing is 3 meters minus this 0.6 so that's plus 2.4 times R or 2.4R so 4.5G times AG which is the distance AG is going to give us 1.6R plus 2.4R which is going to give us 4R now we know from above R equals 1.5G so 4 times 1.5 is 6 so we're going to get 6G equals 4.5G times AG we can divide out by 4.5 so the length AG equals 6 over 4.5 which is 4 over 3 meters and you can write 1.3 meters they accept or 1.33 meters and that is all your full method and answer mark here and that's uh, probably a method and an answer mark here and so I hope you're very happy with that and do go back to question and do it again but question 6 was probably the easiest out of the lot. Well done. I hope that helps.